Good morning students, I'm Ryan and I'm Alvin and I'm sorry to inform to you guys that your grade 10 math teacher has been infected with a typhoid virus so we won't be able to teach you guys today but instead today we will be your substitute teacher and we will be teaching you grade 12 math and to make your guys life easier we will be teaching you how to use this magical calculator that we'll be explaining to you guys later let's go let's begin with an easier question Alvin and Ryan started walking from the same point Elwin walked east while Ryan walked north, both with unknown distances. The total distance they walked is 20 feet. What is the shortest possible distance between both of them after they finish walking? So here you have a right angle, and you are supposed to use the Pythagorean equation to find the distance here, which is x squared plus y squared equal d squared. Not only that, the total distance is given as a constraint, which is 20 feet. So part of the distance was walked by Alvin, and the other part of the distance was walked by Ryan. So instead of putting y variable, we can replace it with 20 minus x, which is the same thing. Now that we have only one kind of variable in the equation, we are going to put the equation into the magical calculator to find the second equation that is easier to obtain the answer we want. So this is the magical calculator. First, you plug in the equation that you have found. Then you click the magic button. The first result you get is the second equation. If it's simplifiable, simplify it. After it is simplified, that is the final second equation. So we now have the second equation. In order to find a minimum value, we must make the second equation equal to 0. Then solve for x. The x is found out to be 10 feet, which also represents the distance Elvin has walked. In order to determine the distance between both of them after they finish walking, we can sub in the x value into the Pythagorean equation. After calculating, the answer is 14.14 feet. Therefore, to answer the question, the shortest possible distance between both of them after they finish walking is approximately 14 feet. So let's continue with part 2 of our grade 12 math problems. A zombie infestation has terrorized a small hotel named Danville, which is approximately 7,500 square feet. The people living in Danville plan to surround the entire hotel with metal fencing to stay alive from the infestation. Despite all the chaos that was happening, they still had to pay for the metal fencing from a nearby hardware store. Assuming the fencing costs $10 per feet for two opposite sides and $15 per feet for the two other sides. Find the dimensions of the hotel that will minimize the cost. The three equations that we need to know is the cost function, parameter equation of a square, and the area of a flat square. We use the parameter equation as our cost function because we want to know the dimensions of the hotel that will minimize the cost. But we have a limit which is also known as our constraint. This constraint cannot exceed 7,500 square feet because that is how big the hotel is. First, let's assume that L equals X and W equals Y. Now let's sub the given 
information into our equations. Now that we have two equations with two unknowns, we can make one of the equations equal to an unknown. For this case, we made y equals to 7500 over x. We can now use the equation to sub it into our cost function. We end up with cost equals to 20x plus 30 times 7500 over x. When simplified, we ended up with cost equals to 20x plus 225,000 over x. Now we can use a magical calculator that will help get an easier equation we can work with. So this is the magical calculator. First, you plug in the equation you want to magically make easier into it. Next, you click on the magic button. Now you have an equation that will make your life easier. Now that we have an easier equation, we can find the minimum dimensions by making the equation equal to zero. Now we can solve for x. and x equals to 106.1 feet. We can now sub our x value into our constraint to find the y value. Which equals to 70.7 .7 feet. Therefore, the dimensions that will minimize the cost is when x equals to 106.1 feet and y equals to 70.7 .7 feet. So that's all for today guys, and we hope that you have learned something or two. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! You know baby cat so high, so fly, float to the air, no cares in the sky. And I wonder what the little kitty thinking in the brain, flying like a plane, like a speed train going insane. Superman, super cat, super cool, super fast, super neat, super sweet, everybody on the feet and dance. Like a jig and jig boogie boy, doing everything you can with a little joy.